Hi, I'm Greg Keppel from Greg Keppel Arts and I'd like to share with you today uh, one of the mediums uh, that I work with in, in art. I'm involved in all different aspects of art. I, I do wood carving, I do printmaking, and in the past I did an awful lot of pottery. But today I'd like to um, share the, my f most favorite medium, which is uh, oil painting. This particular painting uh, is important to me because uh, I became a bird enthusiast and was inspired by a woman named Marge Gibson of the Raptor Education Group Incorporated that's spelled R-E-G-I. Marge and her group are located in Antigo, Wisconsin. She and her group of helpers and interns helped to rehabilitate uh, injured and ill uh, birds, especially raptors, and they take in all kinds of other um, birds that um, just about any species of birds and even uh, baby birds that have been found um, on the ground from after windblown storms or whatever. Once they're rehabilitated or they're grown, they're reintroduced into the wild. So I invite you to check out Marge and her organization on the internet. Type in Reggie, R-E-G-I, and it would get you to the site. And this painting shows from an actual photo taken of Marge holding, holding an eagle. And I was greatly inspired to, to paint that. And, and I see her sort of like as this powerful figure, Earth Mother type figure holding a, a very powerful uh, bird, which is the bald eagle. Okay, a second painting that I did of Marge is I call the Rescue of the Trumpeter Swan, which is uh, an actual event. I was very much intrigued by the by the um, contrast of of the white uh, of the swan against the the dark of the background and of her coat, and even even the almost like the love that she shows toward toward her birds. This painting I call the Spring Dance, and it, I consider this a, a whimsical kind of painting because it's based on just something out of my head, and I try to use expressionism, impressionism to to express what I'm thinking, and I kind of like to make a tell a little story, and in this case, by even just the the look on their, the expressions on their faces kind of tells the story too. And um, obviously they're uh, not realistic birds, but, but you can tell that they're birds simply um, because of the, uh, the formation of the characters. Okay, what I'm trying to convey too is that uh, trying to show human emotion and sort of a psychological um, aspect of how they're feeling and um, uh, whether showing love and uh, happiness. I call this painting the reluctant conductor and uh, the aspect of this one is showing that it's like just about ready to conduct, conduct an orchestra but uh, um, he's also kind of an introvert so he's uh, taking a moment to take a breath and uh, decide what he's going to do next. All right, this painting I call Fall Harvest and of a crow uh, busy working on a cob of corn, but it's also an expressionistic painting where I incorporate, and sort of whimsical, where I incorporate uh, aspects of uh, colored corn that's growing out of the ground. Enjoyed working with the various colors to get the, to Put into this painting. Originally I intended to uh, do this painting for fun when I, and I entered it into a, an art show and it won an award for it so that that was uh, quite an honor. This painting I call the Eclipse um, and again it's an expressionistic type painting of uh, crows um, flying and, uh, and even within even though that there's an eclipse 
uh, the crows are chose to fly and generally like during a, an eclipse if uh, things turn dark or whatever the birds would tend to think that it's nighttime and, and rest in amongst the trees. In this painting I chose to have them flying like they're go heading toward the, the actual eclipse. My intent oftentimes is unconscious so I just paint what comes into my head and so in this particular painting that, that's what I did. I, I put these various elements together to create some sort of drama or uh, um, it still tends to be a little bit whimsical and yet uh, it has like a, a psychological undertone. I call this painting uh, Rock and Robin which is uh, another whimsical painting of mine that uh, um, is obviously a caricature of, of a robin. I made him uh, to be sort of like an, an older robin that uh, has characteristics of say like a, an older gentleman that uh, has has perhaps a beer belly or, or whatever and uh, is kind of just trudging along and uh, being himself. Thank you for your interest in joining me and we'll see you again. That'll be on that'll be on there now too. North, come here. <laughs> I'll edit it out. Come on. I know.